Conversion Therapy. I'm reading about conversion therapy. And this article may contain an excessive amount of intricate detail that may only interest a specific audience. Conversion therapy, also known as reparative therapy, is a range of treatments that aim to change sexual orientation from homosexual to heterosexual. <clears throat> In recent decades, such treatments have been increasingly criticized for being pseudoscientific. Conversion therapy has been a source of controversy in the U.S. and other countries. The American Psychiatric Association has condemned psychiatric treatment such as reparative or conversion therapy which is based upon the assumption that homosexuality per se is a mental disorder or based upon the a priori assumption that the patient should change his or her sexual homosexual orientation states that the ethical practitioners refrain from attempts to change individual sexual orientation. It also states that political and moral debates over the integration of gays and lesbians into the mainstream of American society have obscured scientific data about changing sexual orientation by calling into question the motives and even the character of individuals on both sides of the issue. The highest profile contemporary advocates of conversion therapy tend to be fundamentalist Christian groups and other right-wing religious organizations and the therapy is derided by critics as pray the gay away. The main organization advocating secular forms of conversion therapy is the National Association for Research and Therapy of Homosexuality, which often partners with religious groups. Psychologist Douglas Hillman writes that conversion therapy comprises efforts by mental health professionals and pastoral care providers to convert lesbian and gay men to heterosexuality by techniques including aversive treatments such as the application of electric shock to the hands and or genitals, and nausea-inducing drugs administered simultaneously with the presentation of homoerotic stimuli, and masturbatory reconditioning, visualization, social skills training, psychoanalytic therapy, and spiritual interventions such as prayer and group support and pressure. American medical and scientific organizations have expressed concern over conversion therapy and considered potentially harmful. The advancement of conversion therapy may cause social harm by disseminating inaccurate views about sexual orientation. The ethics guidelines of major mental health organizations in the U.S. vary from cautionary statements to recommendations that ethical practitioners refrain from from practicing conversion therapy or from referring patients to those who do American Counseling Association. In a letter dated February 23rd, 2011 to the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, the Attorney General of the U.S. stated, while sexual orientation carries no visible badge, growing scientific consensus accepts that sexual orientation is a characteristic that is immutable. 2012, the Pan American Health Organization, the North and South American branch of the World Health Organization, released a statement cautioning against services that purport to cure people with non-heterosexual sexual orientations as they lack medical justification and represent a serious threat to the health and well-being of affected people and know that the global scientific and professional consensus is that homosexuality is a normal and natural variation of human sexuality and cannot be regarded as a pathological condition. That's debatable. The Pan-American Health Organization further called on governments, academic institutions, professional associations, and the media to expose these practices and to promote respect for diversity. 
The World Health Organization affiliate further noted that gay minors have sometimes been forced to attend these therapies involuntarily, being deprived of their liberty and sometimes kept in isolation for several months, and that these findings were reported by several United Nations bodies. Additionally, the Pan American Health Organization recommended that such practices be denounced and subject to sanctions and penalties under national legislation, and they constitute a violation of the ethical principles of health care and violate human rights that are protected by international and regional agreements. Read about the history in Europe Sigmund Freud, Sandor Frazensky. Anna Freud, Melanie Klein, Edmund Burglar in the U.S., 20th century, 21st centuries, Theories and Techniques, Behavioral Modification, Ex-Gay Ministry, Psychoanalysts, Reparative Therapy, Sex Therapy, Studies of Conversion Therapy, Can Some Gay Men and Lesbians Change Their Sexual Orientation, Changing Sexual Orientation, a Consumers Report, Ethical Issues and Attempts to Ban Reorientation Therapies, Medical, Scientific, and Legal Views in the U.S., Self-Determination, Ethics Guidelines, International Medical Views, Legal Views. Read all about Conversion Therapy. Conversion Therapy. Conversion Therapy.